In this particular case, we're working with a dog who is extremely insecure and fearful, but also has a learned behavior of I can bite to create space and I will go forward to do so. The other obstacle is we have a dog with zero food motivation to the point where he actually struggles eating his meals on some days. They can't take their dog for a walk because of the reactivity and aggression. So this is how I handle this particular case. Always consult a professional before dealing with a dog with extreme behavioral issues. First things first, this day of the session, I'm here for two hours. Obviously, the dog's not going to have a hell of a good time. He doesn't like me. He doesn't want me to be near him. He doesn't want food. Today's going to suck. First thing we need to do is get the dog out of the house, go for a little walk so I can take the leash. The easiest way for me to do a leash transfer is either over a kitchen counter or outside on a walk. This typically is the least stressful way for the dog to go about this. And honestly, it went really well. You'll see as soon as the dad walks away, the dog kind of looks around and goes, oh God, what do I do now, right? He's a super poor decision maker and he always makes him out of stress and right now he doesn't know what to do. And that's my job. Now I'm gonna stay as calm as I possibly can. We're just gonna go for a little walk. He's trying to stiff out my pant leg now. We're gonna make some turns and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time out here developing a relationship on the walk. In session two, our main focus is gonna be confidence building. We now have a dog who is highly food motivated, who will eat kibble or treats via the hand. We also have a dog who can go on daily walks, which is super important. It gives it outlet for energy, but also it gives a way for them to work together, the human and the dog, and build their relationship. So let me walk you through some steps. Here, we're getting our dog to walk through a ladder. People go, why? Well, why not? We have a dog who's insecure and not confident. The easiest way to build confidence is to get a dog to do something they didn't think they could do. And once they do it, reward the shit out of them and then make it harder and continue to reward the shit out of them. So looky here. Now we have no muzzle on. And we have a dog who is excited about training. Having targets gives your dog an objective to focus on and drown everything else out. As we come back to the ladder, you can notice a completely different dog who's willing to take on challenges. Remember, this is still within our second session. These people put in a shit ton of work and should be extremely proud of them and their dog. In conclusion, the first thing that you need to do is have good leash skills. Everything we did here today was only possible because we had a dog who understood how the leash worked. Secondly, your dog needs a leader. They cannot make decisions on their own out of stress, and when they do, you will completely regret it. 